Hey, what's going on? Mr. J here. And today we're going to be taking a look at this guy right here and also this guy right here. And what are these exactly? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Let's find out. So the first item here is a plaque that I made of my gamer handle Lynx and is primarily built out of Lego. The non-Lego parts are some LED strips that I added on the inside and to give it that little extra flair I added a white piece of paper as the backing so the light shines through a bit more. And this second item here, well it's actually a headphone stand, as you can see. It's also built out of Lego and you can see that it also has some added LED strips on the inside of it. So before I get into the specifics of how I made them, I like to explain why I made them. So for those of you who may not know, I host and participate in LAN parties quite frequently, usually at least four to five times a year. Now if you're unsure what a LAN party is, it's basically where a bunch of people come together with their PCs and game for about eight to 10 hours, sometimes even longer. It's a ton of fun and it's definitely worth checking out if you've never been to one before. Now the LAN parties that my friends and I have been hosting over the years keep getting bigger and bigger, so much so that we're even at a point where we need to rent a hall just to accommodate everybody. We even create layout and setup plans beforehand so we can maximize gaming time and ensure a smooth experience for all participants. Now with the bigger LAN events comes more sophisticated tournaments and competitions, and one thing we've added recently is a best setup competition. Basically, at some point during the LAN party, all the participants will vote on who they think has the best gaming setup. This includes your PC, your monitor, peripherals, lighting, and anything else that you can do to help your setup stand out. And that's exactly why I built these. If you haven't guessed it, we have a LAN party coming up pretty soon, and although it's a little corny, I thought these might add something a little original and creative to my gaming setup. Now with all that being said, I thought I would explain how I actually built these, just in case you get some inspiration and might want to do something similar for your gaming setup. Now just keep in mind, originally I was only going to build the plaque. This headphone stand was kind of an impulse build along the way, but I will explain how it got added. Let's get to it. So the first step was finding the right LED kit. I knew I wanted something that connected via USB, had multiple lighting options, especially fade, and it needed to have a remote control. After some searching on Amazon, I finally found this car lighting kit which had everything I was looking for. Link is in the video description for anyone interested. The reviews were great and the online photos even had the exact dimensions of the lighting strips which is a huge bonus. So here's the catch. The LED kit I got came with four LED strips and I only needed two for the plaque. Well you know I wasn't going to waste any RGB slash lighting potential and that's how the headphone stand got added. I had two extra LED strips and I threw them in this baby right here. Now you can buy RGB headphone stands, but they are pretty expensive and I'm positive that my wife would divorce me if I spent a bunch of money on a headphone stand that lights up. She already thinks I buy too much RGB stuff. There's never too much RGB. Anyways, building it myself lets me get more lighting for my setup and it keeps the cost way down. So it's win-win for me. Back to the black. Since I already knew the dimensions of the RGB strips, I was able to start designing the Lego build before the lighting kit even arrived. Now the light strips are 22.6 centimeters long and I used that measurement to determine how long the nameplate and my gamer handle should be. And after doing some conversion, I figured out that 22.6 centimeters converts roughly to about 28 LEGO studs. From there, I started to digitally design the plaque using a program called LEGO Digital Designer, or LDD for short. It is a free program, and there's a link in the video description in case you want to give it a try. Now for ease of building, I broke the plaque down into four parts that can easily be separated. The stand, the base plate, the frame, and the nameplate. I first started with the nameplate based on a length of 28 LEGO studs. I designed it so that the letters looked like they were cut out of the plate, this way the light will shine through once the LED strips are added. Luckily, my gamer handle Lynx is only 4 letters, so fitting that into the 28 stud limit was pretty easy. I then created the frame which holds the nameplate in place. The frame is what separates the base plate and the nameplate from each other and provides enough space for the light strips. Now the nameplate only has one connection point right here, and the other side of the plate simply rests on an exposed lip right here. Next up, I designed the base plate with a smooth studless surface. This way I could add a white piece of paper later on that will help the light shine even more. The base plate also has two holes at the end to allow for light strip cables to run through and come out the back. The base plate connects to the frame via these connection points shown here. The connection is sturdy enough that the plaque won't fall apart when fully built, but still easy to remove without breaking anything. Lastly, I built the stand which holds everything up. I added a section to run cables through and designed it to fit nicely with my current monitor stand. Once the design was complete, I then exported the parts list as an Excel file from LDD. The parts list tells you exactly what pieces you need and how many of each. Luckily, I already had most of these pieces. As for the few that I didn't have, I was able to order these quickly using a website called Bricklink. You can find the link in the video description if you want to check it out. Now the next step was waiting for all the parts to come in. 
and I used that downtime to build the headphone stand. Now I will admit I wasn't too particular about this thing. I didn't design anything in LDD, nor did I order any parts for it. I simply just used parts that I already had lying around, and I just tried to make sure that the LED strips would fit nicely on the inside of it. But more on that later, let's get back to the plaque. Once the parts arrived, I sorted them all and made sure nothing was missing. As for the building part, luckily LDD has a build guide mode for your projects, and since the plaque is separated into four parts, it was relatively easy to put everything together. Speaking of which, I think this calls for a time lapse of the building process. Let's do it. Once I finished building everything, I then installed the light strips using the included adhesive. I then connected the stand and nameplate and plugged it in to test it out. Excellent! It works! This will definitely help improve my performance during gaming. As for the headphone stand, unfortunately I don't have any footage of me building it. Like I said, it was an impulse build along the way, but it does work using the same principles. The stand and base are detachable from each other and the LED light strips come out the back of the stand. There's also a section in the base where USB and audio extension cables from your PC can meet up with the cables coming from your headset. So now that you know how I created these, it's time for some sexy B-roll footage. Enjoy. So there you have it, you can build your own light up plaque and headphone stand or whatever you can think of simply by using some LED strips and some Lego. I love the way the plaque and the headphone stand looks with my current setup. And although it might be a little overkill, a part of me can't help but smile and take some pride in it. Hopefully it helps my chances in the setup competition at our next LAN party, but only time will tell. Is it kind of lame and corny? Definitely. Was it worth it? Maybe not so much. And would I do it again? Hell yes I would. I do believe that anything that lets you be creative and exercise your mind is never a bad thing. Maybe LEGO isn't your cup of tea, and maybe you're not a fan of RGB or custom lighting, but if you do have a project in your mind that might seem lame, weird, or even crazy, I say go for it. Don't hold yourself back. Get those creative juices flowing and you might just surprise yourself. Before I go, I'd also like to extend an invitation to anyone watching who might be interested in participating in a LAN party. The ones we throw are well organized and fun as hell. We're talking full on tournaments, competitions, trophies, and even prizes. We're looking to build a big active community of gamers and PC enthusiasts. So if that sort of thing interests you and you want to know more, leave a comment or shoot me a message at mrjgaming.tech at gmail.com. I hope to hear from you soon. That about wraps it up. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Until next time, always remember, RGB is life. Mr. J out. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. If you want to see more content like this, check out the links on the side. In the meantime, why don't you punch that subscribe button right in its face, drop a like, leave a comment. That's it for Mr. J. And until next time, keep your powder dry. Mr. J out. Oh, you're still here, eh? Why didn't you click one of the videos?